Welcome back. Now, yesterday, Texas A&M had one of Time Magazine's 100 most influential people speak at the Annenberg Conference Center, and our KX Andrea Uribe got to sit down with this fearless leader. Sister Rosemary Nirumbe discussed living through Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance Army in northern Uganda and the lasting impact of the Civil War. That place was suffering for more than 20 years. She revealed that the hardest part of living through the horrors of war was the rest of the world not listening. Living through this war has been the most difficult thing because, first of all, not everybody, even international communities, knew about this conflict. And everybody thought it was something small and, of course, Many times things which are happening, like in Africa, you find are not known. Even up to now, you'll be surprised that some people do not even know about what happened in northern Uganda. It seems like so far away, and yet this is humanity. Sister Rosemary brought hope to Uganda with a rehabilitation program called Sowing Hope. And many people may not understand why it's called Sowing Hope, but we are very much focused on using the needle as an analogy of exactly what has happened to these women we know that with a needle you can mend clothes, with a needle you can mend broken pieces. So we decided that our project will be focused on mending the brokenness of these young women. Since 2002, she has enrolled more than 2,000 girls who had been abducted by the resistance army or abandoned by their families in her Sewing Hope Foundation. And I used to tell everybody, you got to be aware, you got to dig and find out what is happening with humanity because it could happen at your doorstep one day. Andrea Uribe, KAGS News. And Sister Rosemary has plans to build even more orphanages and schools where she resides in northern Uganda. And to learn more about Sewing Hope and if you'd like to donate, you can go to sewinghopefoundation.com.